to play You Owe Me by the Chainsmokers. We're in standard tuning. There's no capo. I'm going to teach you this part. And then also the chorus chords. So we're going to start out with the introduction, which is this part. It's a little tough with the finger picking, but I think we can get through it here. So you're really starting out in this A position, but you just need two fingers. So you could use your middle and your ring finger. And we're just picking between those and we are on the G string, that's your third string up with your middle finger, and B string with your ring finger on the second fret. So we're picking between those two. We're gonna do that for four times, so then we're gonna slide our index finger over here onto the first fret of the G. Move our pinky up to the fourth fret of the G. Then we're gonna move our pinky up one fret to the fourth fret of the D and slide our index on the second fret of the G. And we're gonna pick D G, D G, D G, D G. Okay, so it's a lot to remember here. Let's start from the beginning and go slow. So we're going to go four times on this first part. First fret, fourth fret of the G. Move your pinky up to the fourth fret of the D. Put your index on the second fret of the G. D, G, D, G, D, G, D, G. So, and that's my uh, take on how you can play that introductory part. It's like a, it's a mix of the rhythm guitar and then the background um, chords that are going on there. So that's how I'm playing the introduction. Um, there are chords, you know, you could go, um, I think it starts A, D, C, F, and comes back to a D. There's chords on Ultimate Guitar. I'll post the link to that or I'll also list the chords there if you'd like. Um, but I just wanted to go over how to play the chorus as well. So the chorus is an F sharp minor, B minor, E to an A. I'm not going to teach you how to play those chords. I'm going to assume you already know how to play them because there's some bar chords in there, which makes it tough to play if you don't know. But so the progression there is just F sharp minor, B, E to our A chord. And if we want to add some strumming in here, we can go. That's it. So that's how you can go through the chorus. I don't expect you to pick that up very quickly if you're a beginner because there are those bar chords in there. Um, but that's going to be it for this tutorial. If you have questions, go ahead and comment below. If you enjoy this content and want to see more, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.